If you don't speak in tongue, does it mean it will delay your prayer? If you don't speak in tongue, does it mean you can't get to the kingdom of God? Let's get deep into this topic. Keep watching. Hello everyone, my name is Avalake Janet Oyelami. When I was a teenager, I had a preaching that says, if you don't speak in tongues, you can't have the power to be rapturable. But as I grow in Christ, I got to understand the real meaning of speaking in tongues. What it means, what it does to you. If you speak it, does it qualify you for heaven? If you don't speak it, does it qualify you for heaven? But before I continue, let me give the keyword that summarizes today's topic. The keyword today says, in the story of the rich man, the rich man told Jesus that he should give him opportunity to go and tell his family to change from bad to good. Jesus told him, the motivational speakers, pastors, missionaries, evangelists, preacher, emotional therapist, keyword writer, and positive quote writers he has sent to the world, his family should listen to them. If they don't, Jesus told the rich man, his family will meet him in hell. Let your inner eyes be open to all the opportunity available to you through encouraging mentors around you. They will help you to fulfill your destiny. Please share your own view on this topic after you watch this video. Like I always do on this channel, let me explain what speaking in tongue mean. Speaking in tongue, also known as glossolalia, is a practice in which people utter words or speech like sound, often taught by believers to be languages unknown to the speaker. Speaking in tongue is one of the gifts of the Holy Spirit. It is simply a way of expressing what is in your spirit, but which you cannot explain with plain word. It is used to edify the body of Christ, which is the church. Paul also made us to understand that the best way to edify the church of Christ is to speak plain word which others can understand plain word that build faith and understanding for all who hear the message paul also said he speak in tongue more than every other person but he said he preferred to use plain word which will teach others than ten thousand words in tongues this word of Paul can be seen in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 18 to 19. So, does speaking in tongue bring a quick answer to our prayers? First of all, this speaking in tongue is a gift from God. And if God knows that you deserve it and you will be humble when you use it, He gives it to you. Or if you really, really admire the gift, you can pray and fast to God. He give it to you. Get this into your subconscious mind. Speaking in tongue is one of the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Let me tell you the truth. If you are wicked, you backbite. You don't fulfill your promise to others. You lie. You do all sorts of things that God asks you not to do. Let me tell you, even if you speak in tongue, your prayers goes nowhere so for answer to our prayers is for you first of all to give your life to christ forsake sin continue to do the will of god if jesus can be perfect he said be ye perfect as your heavenly father is perfect if you try your best your righteousness is hidden in christ he's the one that will make you to be perfect to be righteous and when you pray to him through his righteousness in you he will answer you but if you speak in tongues and you don't do his will, definitely your prayer goes nowhere. But if you speak in tongues and you do the will of God, through God's help, you are righteous. Definitely, you call on him, he will answer you at the right time. My second question goes like this. 
is speaking in tongue your key to kingdom of god and the answer is still no some believers also say if you don't speak in tongue you can't have the power to be rapturable i don't think that is true because the bible made me to understand that it gives power to the weak so the moment you give your life to christ and invite jesus into your heart the holy spirit comes into your heart the more you grow in christ the more you receive more power of the holy ghost the more you grow into maturity in christ the more the power in you continue to increase then if you desire desperately the gift of speaking in tongue ask god to give you he will give you but it's a natural gift God freely give to anyone that deserve it. For example, if you speak in tongue and yesterday night you lied, you commit adultery, you commit fornication, and when you get to church today, for example, you started to speak in tongue, demon will look at you and in their in the spiritual realm, they will tell you to shut up, to keep quiet, because that you're speaking in tongue goes nowhere. So speaking in tongue is not your key to heaven. It's not a key to answer prayer. The key to answer prayer is for you to give your life to Christ, invite the Holy Spirit into your heart, continue to do the will of God, and your prayers will be answered. And when Jesus comes, you will reign with him. In conclusion, speaking in tongue is part of the gift from God, and he gives it to anyone that deserves it or anyone that asks. It's not an evidence kingdom of God and it's not an evidence to answer prayers. So if you speak in tongue, don't look down on somebody that doesn't speak in tongue. It is the grace that God gave to you that made you to have it. I hope this short message encouraged you to run after your dreams and to continue to do the will of God. Speak to you soon. God bless.